when I opened my salon, I decided I wanted cacao to be a big part of the, the salon experience. Um, just for something different to open my clients up to what I've been feeling um, as I've had my journey with cacao. Hi, um, I'm Katie. Um, I'm the owner of the Craft Hair Salon. The Craft is owned by myself and my two friends. Um, we have been in this industry a long time and we always dreamt of maybe one day opening up our own shop. Um, together we are we're sisters, we've been through everything together and to get this premises and this place it's definitely been um, a magical experience that came together through all of our, our intuitions, our gut feelings by sticking together and being sisters and sisterhood is all to do with the craft, the magic, witchcraft. In every woman there's a witch so women see the empowerment in the craft, in the brand and the, the philosophy behind it and they, you know, they gravitate towards us because of this, this entity of what it is. My first experience with cacao was through my friend Natasha Vavasor. Um, she's a facilitator of cacao and I first drank it with her many years ago. When I opened my salon, I decided I wanted cacao to be a big part of the, the salon experience. Within the salons, we would always open up to clients and they open up to me. Um, I found cacao really helps with this. Um, it's just such a comforting thing to have while we're conversating together. And as my client drinks it, I can notice they feel more settled in themselves, um, they're calmer, and they definitely can open up and elaborate a little bit more on and go deeper into their conversations with me. So it's been amazing to experience it. It's been an amazing tool to use with my staff, um, for myself always and I'm so appreciative of the plant and its magic and all it has to offer us. Styling hair is not just commercial, it's not just something we, um, we do to make someone look good, but it also is all about the feeling. They come for a feeling. They come on a feeling and they decide what way they'll do their hair because of that feeling. Sometimes it can be because something tragic has happened or something wonderful has happened. And the style will really portray that feeling, I feel. So before I change a client's hair, I, I kind of have to get to the root of that feeling um, to make sure that it's the right decision of what style they're gonna choose is gonna be right for them and that they're not gonna regret what they do with their hair when they go home or they feel different. So cacao really helps the client and myself root into themselves and yeah, just portray what they really are feeling through their hair and through their, expre their expression.